This week on Safari Hunter's Journal, we return to Motswani Safaris to pursue a pair of lesser known antelope with the Umarex Hammer 50 caliber air gun. Sometimes in Africa, things happen quickly, like when an elephant takes exception to a human's presence in close quarters. Other times, the encounter can last for long minutes, even hours before there's an opportunity for an ethical shot. But as is often the case, great patience is rewarded, well, greatly. We pursue Limpopo bushbuck and copper springbuck on this air gun safari, and it starts right now on Safari Hunter's Journal, presented by Umarex. It was mid-morning on one of our final days at Matswani Safaris. My professional hunter Ruan and I were on a walk and stalk that had been heavy on the walking and light on the stalking. But Ruan caught a glimpse of the white rump of a springbok in an opening beyond a stand of trees, so we moved slowly in that direction, hoping for a look at an undisturbed herd. Springbok come in many varieties in Southern Africa, common, Kalahari, white, black, and I had taken them all, all that is, except the copper springbok. And as luck would have it, there was a nice copper ram feeding undisturbed in the distance. Time to settle in. It's just, thank God, time. Time crawled. A full 45 minutes as the ram stood behind other animals, in front of other animals, or simply not presenting an ethical shot. It just won't turn. There he's turning. Oh, cool. Dropped him right in his track. Oh, cool. Yes. That's great, man. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to take a little bit of time. Oh, oh man. That's a hard earned springbok. Oh, hard earned springbok. That's what you call patience. That's what you call being a sniper <laughs> and waiting all day for Excellent the. Excellent shot, sir for the bad guys to come out. A copper springbok. Yep. He was quartering away slightly, yep. so that shot is perfect. He's heavy. He's heavy. Nice black, black horns as well. Yeah. That. That's a, that's a really, Nice looking animal. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Colors in the face. Beautiful. Yeah, the one thing I regret is we missed the pronk. Yeah, but uh, you know, what can we do? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful animal. Botswana Safaris is not your typical safari lodge, with more amenities than we had time to take advantage of. But I did make time after dinner to get an up-close look at the outstanding trophy room on the grounds. A 
exactly how high do the ceilings have to be for a full mount elephant giraffe? The last evening of our hunt found Ruin and I working riverine habitat for bushbuck. Though they are not part of the tiny tin, bushbuck are a smallish and secretive antelope, spending most of their time as, you might expect, in the bush. So imagine our surprise when this nice, startled ram came hurtling towards us. I assumed the chance was lost, but the ram dove into tight cover and turned to watch its back trail at 95 yards. So you're saying I've got a chance. It looked like a clean shot, but that tangle of branches was blocking my trajectory. I waited on the sticks for fewer minutes than what it seemed, but it seemed like a while. Ruan had already slid to the right and found a shooting lane. Surprisingly, the ram stood pat. That hit a third, didn't it? Oh, you got him, son. Good job, son. Thank you. Good job, man. Oh, boy. I tell you, just sitting and waiting and waiting because they're just so stealthy and, and patient and you know, I didn't think it would allow me to step over here, but I think he thought he was hidden. I thought he thought he was invisible. Yeah, I was standing right in that thick stuff there. Well, I had branches, and you had a clear shot. Um, there was some grass, but with a 350 grain bullet, so what? Sometimes in hunting video, the walk up to a fallen animal is a bit overdone. But with bushbuck, the caution is an absolute must. Many a hunter has been severely injured or even killed by a dead bushbuck's sharp spiral horn that impales the hunter as they draw close to examine the harvest. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Well, thank you so shooting. much. Good shooting, sir. That was a good shot. That yeah. was a tough shot. Yeah, yeah. After a long time. We're on this bush buck for, seem like, ever. Well, you cannot believe how long they can stand mm. completely still. Yeah. It's an amazing little critter. And he knew we were there, but I think that he thought that he was in good cover. And I didn't have a clear shot. Yeah, we had to make plans. You, and you did make a plan. I yeah. didn't think we would be able to do it, but you... You got us in the right position. Yeah, and good shooting as well. Oh, thanks, thanks. It was uh, it was a tester. It was a little bit uh, a little bit of a small target. A little different than some of the other animals we've been hunting, yeah. but not surprisingly, this went down pretty quickly with uh, with a, a hammer. You cannot believe how quick it went down. <laughs> it was almost instant. Well, it is a 350 grain bullet, <laughs> uh, so you know, 50 caliber. Yeah. So, Ruan, this has been a really no a problem, sir. Great pleasure. I appreciate your uh, your guiding me, and what a great bush buck.
stay up to date on the latest outdoor and Second Amendment news and to take part in our social media contest giveaways, follow us at Umarex Air Guns and at Steve Scott TV. Then that way, guys, you want to die on, guys. Okay, man. Bye bye.